All right then, uh, speaking of Friday, Friday night at the Gabba. Oh, they were dominant Melbourne. I think it was their uh, probably twice against Brisbane. It's been their best performance of the season. So I think Simon Goodwin out coaches Chris Fagan every single time. The organisation came behind the ball of Lever and May compared to what was going. 26 inside 50s apiece at half time, yet it was 13 goals to two. And the issues for Melbourne has been their efficiency, which you've highlighted numerous times, Lord. They kicked, had 25 scoring shots from 50 entries. This is a celebration after the game inside the rooms. But Chris Fagan's got to get back up to the coach's box. He loses complete control from the interchange bench. He looks uh, dishevelled and frustrated. Get up to the box where you can see the ground so you don't get out coached again because time and time again I'm sick of seeing uh, Chris Fagan agitated on the interchange bench. Get up to the box where you can see and coach your side but really disappointing performance from a side who needed to be better. We've had a real big problem with big games and I have to say on Friday night I've never seen a side as unprepared for what onslaught was coming. Now we know Melbourne are great. We know how defensively minded and how uh, like bulls they are in the midfield but I thought Brisbane was so unprepared like it was just another round three, round four game where they going to trot out and, and face a side who was below them, but it was Melbourne. And let's have a look at how unprepared they were from the very first bounce. And he goes inside, Kadeen Coleman. This is the man of the moment last week. This is the first stoppage of the game, the first contest. You're five metres off him. And yes, he's going to kick a goal. He's a smart player. You can't give him that much space. It was lackadaisical. And this happened all throughout the first quarter. Zach Bailey, not sure what you're doing here. I'm not sure how you don't tackle Christian Petrarca on that occasion, but should have kicked the goal. Missed it. All of a sudden, it's set up. Now, they wanted to be tough as soon as Melbourne win the football. Falls in his back, 50 metre penalty, kicks a goal. Only his third goal in however many games. Now, I want to talk about this is, this is one of their best, most, I, I think, convincing players who's hard as nails, Starcevich. How he allows that much space, what he was doing, I'm not sure. Next stoppage, Daniel McStay, you're in the ruck. So you're in the ruck for a reason. You've still got to go up. You've got to jump up into the air and Ben Brown has a shot and kicks a goal from that. So this is all in the first eight minutes. Now, You've just tackled someone and you've been reported. You have to put your head over that ball and pick it up. I think he was a bit weary about what was just happening in his game and that was a mistake. And then these two from Gardner, who lost them the game in the last couple of moments against Richmond. That one, but he didn't learn from that. Only a minute later, the ball goes in again. And he does exactly the same thing again. So Brisbane, they just didn't cope with it. They were deer in the headlights. And for finals football, for them to win, let's have a look at some of their players and what they've done. Charlie Cameron, you give him a tick. These are finals. You give him a tick in finals, three goals. But then you've got Bailey, McCarthy, Hipwood, McStay and Danaher. That isn't great reading in finals. So then you've got Lockie Neal. You'd have to give him a tick. He's kicked five goals, more than most of those guys. McCluggage, 22 disposals, four goals. That's a tick. Zorko, around average. So if these players here, Manila and McCluggage, don't get going... Who's going to step up for Brisbane in the midfield? Who's going to be the player that steps up? And who in the forward line, apart from Charlie Cameron, is going to step up in September? Because it hasn't happened yet, and it needs to happen for your footy club. And, Bernie, there were some disgusting and disgraceful words uh, said by Dane Zorko to Harrison Petty during the game. And the, the broadcast uh, re revealed the, the emotion attached to it and the sadness attached to it, must be said. This is the players coming to, together um, at the time. And the way that both uh, Melbourne, and it must be said, Brisbane officials handled this. But... The, the care and respect and, and love for Harrison Petty from all Melbourne people and the way they managed to deal with this on the run through Alan Richardson, you can see how the, how the words being spoken to there, and, and it's been mopped up. The AFL will not get involved in it, but, and, and we are not going to be going near what uh, words were said by Dane Zorko to Harrison Petty. Uh, the apology came yesterday uh, from Dane Zorko after the counselling he'd received from via his own what? club. Via a uh, club-released uh, email. And the AFL is happy, TJ, to draw a line on this now. They, they are going to say that it has been dealt with. And, and, and Melbourne is more than satisfied with what has happened. The public element to the, the situation and the apology there that uh, Dane has said. He's apologising, he's remorseful. And upon reflection, I need to be a better leader. I'm surprised the AFL has, has just said case closed as quickly as it has. Even though I hear what you're saying yeah. about Melbourne. Um, if that was Toby Green, right, he would be hung, drawn and quartered. And I don't know why Dane Zorko has been allowed to um, escape sanction or ongoing scrutiny via an email. Mm. I think the perception, TJ, is that to, to take it further would, would in, invite and, and almost encourage the revealing of the actual disgraceful words that, that were said. And, and, and given Harrison Petty now has accepted the apology and, and has effectively, by extension, asked for it to be um, drawn a line upon, I think that is, is, is where the starting and end game is, given he's accepted it. All right, well, we'll move on.